What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hashware Hub. Uh, it is about uh, 9.18 p.m. January 25th, 2018. We're coming to you with a trading video and update specifically on Bitcoin. Hit the subscribe button, notification bell, resteam, upvote, all greatly appreciated. Let's get right into it here real quick. We see the market running up. The market is running up. Um, <clears throat> we made a video, I think earlier today, and you know we were talking about poss the possibilities of it coming down and the possible resistance lines and if it's going to go up, the possible um, excuse me, if it's going to go down, the possible support lines. If it's going to go up, the possible resistance line. <coughs> excuse me. There's a few different resistance lines. One of them happens to be this dash blue line. And anyway, I'm actually going to zoom out here for a second. This called us a one-hour chart, and this blue line extends. <clears throat> quite extensively all the way back so it's a significant line okay right now the market pierced through this through this blue hash line about 11,400 somewhere around there and where can it go from here okay what are other support levels it can go from here so this is intersection okay and I'll get to this right now so we had spoke we had um, charted out this upward triangle which is a bearish signal and the market had fallen off and then the market stopped right here when the market stopped right here and started running up again we drew this channel this was after the last video we made on bitcoin if i remember correctly and so we draw this tra channel now this channel looks like a bearish flag okay it looks like you know pretty sizable bearish flag um, we can see that there was another one here. Okay, this is like a fractal, fractals of bearish flags. Bearish flag fra fractal. So here's one. Okay, here's a big one. If it sold off to here, here's a smaller one. It sold off to here. Here's another one. Maybe we'll sell off again. Maybe, maybe not. You know, I'd like to see it run up to here, run into a bunch of support. Excuse me, a bunch of resistance, and then kind of fall off down here make our final last um, <clears throat> our last final last sell-off maybe maybe not it's gonna be uh, interesting to see what happens but let's not forget the overarching picture here okay let's zoom out for a second when in doubt zoom out so we have uh, this larger triangle okay this larger triangle this is like our universe right now okay and right here is our small little, I wouldn't even call it a solar system. This is the sun and the earth <laughs> um, as, you, as, we, as we zoom in here. Okay, so what are the next potential, potential levels for, for resistance? Uh, you know, um, this is a diagonal, so it's difficult to say. So let's say 11,800, somewhere around there. You know, if it's a little bit higher up here, 11,900 if the market shoots straight up. I would like it to be a bearish flag and then we come down. Yeah, I know here, hear people in the background. Ah, oh, yeah, you know, <laughs> we don't want it to go down anymore. Okay, cool. But I want it to, when it goes up, I want it to go up decisively. I want it to go up like literally you just, you just launch a rocket. And so I want to see this, this, this huge downward facing wedge. I want to see it really play out. I want to see volume get down to piddly amounts and the headlines to read Bitcoin is over and cryptocurrency, blah, blah, blah. So <clears throat> the only way to do that is really for this really to extend. And I know this tests everybody's patience. So, you know, you got to be patient here. So, <clears throat> excuse me, this possibly is a potential resistance level after that we have we have a horizontal resistance level let's say 12,050 and um, yeah the support levels you know again we would have to turn around make it through to make it through here you'd have to make it through here we have to make it through here so um, not going to go over those right now because it depends on where we are in time with regards to what support level uh, is in action and also at what point so um, yeah, somebody else had mentioned, uh, I think his name was Jean-Michel, if I if he doesn't, hope he doesn't mind me mentioning his name. And I want to I point this out. This is the power of the trading team that we've put together. And the trading team is on Facebook. The link is down below. So if you're not signed up, you guys got to sign up. Only a small fraction of our subscribers are actually signed up on there. 
And I would say, even if you're not on Facebook, sign up for a Facebook account and just go in there and join. It doesn't cost anything and there's no spam or anything else like that. But what you get is you get a wide, diverse view view of what people are looking at at the market and how they're looking at the market. And the market exhibits a lot of head and shoulders. And one head and shoulder in particular, somebody was mentioning by the, this gentleman by the name of Jean-Michel, um, is a head and shoulders pattern that is exhibited if I, I, ho I hope I don't get this wrong right here head shoulder and another shoulder so left shoulder head right shoulder and this is something we sh we saw as well I didn't particularly like the 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 um, the volume confirmation it was good it was okay but it wasn't as great as I like like it to be uh, but you know it's something we can't mention everything our, our, our videos are long enough as it is. And I think we lose people because they're not they're not they're not short enough. So there's a lot that we leave out, and so this is a great way to go ahead and take a look and see what other people's viewpoints are, and and it just will only add to your trading. <clears throat> so with that said, we're gonna leave it there. Um, as well, links are down below for Steemit and DTube, and uh, yeah, please sign up on, on, on all those as, as we mentioned. Speak to you soon and happy trading.